We are days away from Avengers Infinity War, a movie that we've been waiting for, anticipating for years and years and years. And within those years, within 10 years, they have given us 18 Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. And I'm going to rank them from best to worst, 1 to 18, or 18 to 1 rather. And we're going to go through this list and dive into it. I'm not going to spend long on each movie because then we'll be here for, you know, half an hour. I'm not going to talk about that at all. I'm going to go through every, you know, 30 second chat on each movie and why they're in the spot they're in. Some of them are very obvious, some of them are not so obvious of why I put them in the position they're in, but we're going to get into it. But before we get into this list, if you guys want a chance to win a Blu-ray, Force Awakens, all you have to do is comment on my 100 sub giveaway video, and then you get an extra vote by commenting on this one as well. I've changed up the rules a little bit, but change it up. Click it, click it below, comment your favourite MCU movie, and you get an extra vote in, and then you've also just got to comment on my 100 sub video, two freaking comments, and you have a chance to win a fucking steelbook. It isn't a steelbook, I don't know why I said that, but it is a regular Blu-ray, and you'll love it, so if you want the chance to win that, just get commenting, it's very, very simple. As well, another quick shameless plug, I just did a video of the Avengers, a rewind review, because that's very, very close. We're close to the new one, so I'm like, okay, we'll do this one because we're close as well. I did it with a couple of cool guest brothers binge. Check those videos out. I'm done with the plugs. Let's get into this shit. Okay, starting in the very bottom. This is an obvious worst movie for me. Number 18, The Incredible Hulk. This movie was just stale, boring. I just did not find this movie entertaining. Wasn't an overly big fan of Edward Norton. This movie was very forgettable. And I'm glad it was 10 years ago because I can truly forget it. Coming in at number 17, we found that the sequels aren't always better than the original because Thor Dark World is the second worst movie in the MCU. This movie is forgettable, it is stale, it is just truly kind of boring in a sense. I think they could have done something better, an MCU movie has so much to work with and I don't think they delivered at all. Number 16, the final MCU movie that I really don't think is anything special. The rest going on forward are decent or above. This one was not decent. This one was Iron Man 2. Another sequel that just did not deliver. Yes, Iron Man 1 was pretty hard to beat, but they did not even come close to beating it with this one. Another one that just kind of built up to like a 45 second fight with the villain that I did not care about. And I did not care about the shit in between. This movie was boring. And it could have just been jazzed up, even with RDJ as a phenomenal Tony Stark Iron Man. Number 15. We found out the Captain America series started a bit slow, in my opinion, with the first Avenger. This movie, I just didn't get as enhanced as I wanted to. I know it was a, a decent start to the whole character that is Captain America. I did like the intro. But when they actually got him into the super serum, I just didn't find it investing. I just didn't care about it as much, maybe because I rewatched it after seeing other the, I, other the stuff like with Avengers and Winter Soldier and uh, I'm seeing more of Captain America, what he could do, I just didn't think this movie delivered. 14, this movie could have been interchanged with 15, I think it's on about the same level as the first Avenger was, Thor. This movie, I think rewatching it after watching Ragnarok really helped, I enjoyed it a lot more watching it after seeing how good Thor could really be and how cool the character could be. At his best, this movie, again, I did actually like the element of them taking him out of Asgard and putting him on Earth and making him a human being for a little bit. I did like that element, but I feel like the movie still didn't hit as well as it could have. I think this movie is decent, but could have been something specialer. Yes, I am aware I just said specialer. Apologies. Number 13, we have Iron Man 3. This movie actually isn't as bad as I remember. I remember watching this movie in the theatre and hating it because of the Mandarin twist. I hated the Mandarin twist, hate, made me hate the rest of the movie. After re-watching this movie, I go, okay, the movie actually is good. I actually had some fun with it, but that twist really negates everything they did. I just did not like the angle they took with the Mandarin, and without that angle, I feel like it could have been boosted up in the list, but it's stuck at 13 for this point. Number 12, we have Doctor Strange. This one probably could have been switched around with Iron Man 3 at 13 if it wasn't for the twist. But Doctor Strange, I think, is a movie that is just fine all around. It does good things pretty much consistently. Never something amazingly great. But I think this movie, in my opinion, is just a good, decent movie. A character that I didn't really love, but I don't dislike either. I feel like this movie is just decent, good MCU stuff. Number 11, we have Ant-Man. 
I'm a huge Paul Rudd fan and I was excited to see this movie and I did not disappoint. We're at a very good part in the list where everything from now on I freaking enjoyed really, really well. And I did enjoy Ant-Man. I think this movie is definitely a light-hearted, fun movie and it kind of does give a different, less serious tone than what we'd seen before. Kind of has a forgettable villain and I didn't really dig that too much. But the movie itself, aside from the villain and the actual action aspect, uh is actually a great movie. I did enjoy Ant-Man a lot, maybe a bit more than a lot of people have. A lot of people would probably have this movie a bit lower on their list, but I did think it was a fun movie. Number 10, another one that could have been interchanged with 11, another one that could have been switched below. I think in the end, this one had a, a crew, which made me like it more. This is Avengers Age of Ultron. This movie, I think, had a lot of things going for it. I think Ultron was something that I didn't really understand as much. But I reckon the rest of the movie is very, very good. I did enjoy most of this movie. I liked the element of adding in these new Avengers and Vision and uh, Wanda Maximoff, forgetting her name right now, her superhero name, but Wanda. And I liked the element of that and I liked the way they started and then switched behind and they had to deal with some cool shit. I did enjoy this movie a lot. I think, again, why is it above Ant-Man? Because I think when it comes to these guys coming together, that it's always going to get an extra vote. Number nine, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This movie is a lot of fun. This movie is pretty much what you see with Guardians and what we expect. We had a lot of high energy fun. We had a lot of great jokes. We had a lot of cool music and it delivered on that front as well as giving you some emotional moments with Yondu. I think Yondu was a huge factor in why this movie is on the top half of my list and made it to the top nine. That storyline was phenomenal and I really did enjoy it. Saying that, I feel like this movie is a lot more forced than the first one is. Maybe without that force and they didn't... I just felt like they, the jokes were just a lot more heavy hitting and they, you know, I, as much as it is the tone of the movie, I feel like a few changes could have made, made me really, really, really enjoy this movie instead of really enjoying this movie. Number eight, Spider-Man Homecoming. This movie was great. I think Tom Holland as Spider-Man is phenomenal. He put on a great movie. They do play it safe. They don't take many risks because of how Spider-Man has gone in the past. But this movie is light-hearted fun. You get to see the Spider-Man trying to be the Spider-Man. And that's the element I like. You don't get to see Peter Parker like urging himself to be something better. You, you see Peter Parker trying to earn himself and prove himself to Iron Man. Great element. I know Vulture isn't the best villain as such, but as a character, he is a good character. And I didn't think the action was as immense, but the rest of the movie I really did enjoy. Number seven, another movie that could be switched with the one below it, Black Panther. This movie to me is very much on the same level as Spider-Man Homecoming. I think the movie making aspects make this a better movie. I think it has better direction, score, action than Spider-Man Homecoming did. But this movie does have some cool shit going on. I think I do like Spider-Man more than I like Black Panther as a character, as a hero. But I think this movie as a whole is really good. I think it sets a great tone. It is set itself aside from not just being a superhero movie. It kind of creates its own stuff. Great direction, score, as I said, and the action. But the main thing, Killmonger as a villain, is hard not to have on top of my list. He was phenomenal. Michael B. Jordan absolutely killed it, and that's why this movie is number seven. Moving on to the top six movies, the top third of the MCU right now, we're going back to where it started, Iron Man. This movie I rewatched recently and went, holy shit, that was fucking good. This movie is freaking awesome. I loved RDJ in this movie. He was phenomenal. I liked the whole Iron Man coming together. This is exactly what I'd expect from the very start of the MCU. And I know it does dip a little bit for a few movies after that. But by God, this movie does a lot of things right. Great character. The villain isn't, you know, memorable. But it doesn't degrade the movie either. I did like the whole storyline and it's very much Tony Stark's movie and that is why I loved it. Number five, the second most recent MCU movie, Thor Ragnarok. I rewatched this last night. I rewatched every movie to make this list and define every single movie on this list. This movie is phenomenally good. I think everything it does, it sets a tone. And a big thing for me is humour in the MCU. If they force it down your throat, I'm not going to like it. Avengers Age of Ultron is a big culprit of forcing it down when it didn't need it. But movies like Guardians of the Galaxy and movies like this, where the tone is to be lighthearted and funny and deliver you great humour, bang! That's what I needed. This movie was artsy. It looked phenomenal. The action scenes were great. The characters were more fleshed out than we'd ever seen in a Thor movie before. Thor himself was more fleshed out. We're going to see a different side of Hulk. This movie was freaking 
awesome. This movie, I can't say enough about it. I had a lot of fun, and yes, the humour can get, you know, it, it, there is a lot of it, but I did like that that's the way they set the tone out. It's not just you know, throwing it in there for the sake of throwing it in there. Number four on my list, Captain America Civil War. This movie was awesome. The collaboration to see all these guys come together and verse each other, and a couple of one on one or six on six, whatever the teams were, head to head, and I loved that side of the movie. It sets a great pacing to see how they got here. You see all the Avengers movies leading up to it, and you see the characters build, and you see more of these characters, you see more Vision and War of Wonder, and you get to see Ant Man and Spider Man and Black Panther all come into this. This movie was a hell of a lot of fun. This movie is cinematic phenomenon. It, I, you, how can you not be just so bugged out by seeing all these characters on the screen at the same time? That's what's going to happen in Infinity War. This movie is great. It does have a lot of humour, which, you know, is the MCU way, but the action's great. The character and the story is all bang on point. Number three, a very definitive top three. This is easily my favourite three MCU movies. I wouldn't say easily, but I do know for sure these are my three favourites. Number three, Guardians of the Galaxy number one. This movie was so different, so awesome. They set a theme from the start, we're going to have fun, we're going to be something, take a different direction than a serious action MCU movie. They're going to hit it down, light-hearted fun, great characters with a great crew, it made for an awesome movie. The soundtrack and the cinematography and the artsy look of the movie is phenomenal and of course it's going to be. This movie could have been number one, it very much was so close if they just upgraded Ronan as a villain. As a villain, I feel like he's kind of eh, but the rest of the movie is great. The characters are phenomenal. The story is awesome. I just like the whole aspect of this movie coming together was great. This movie was phenomenal. Number two, Captain America Winter Soldier. This was the one for me that I saw in the cinemas was like, holy shit, this is fucking amazing. This is, I think, like the eighth movie in the MCU, and this is the first one that I went, my god, this is phenomenal. Saying that, the other one was before it, and I'll explain that later, but this movie was great. I liked Captain America against the S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA itself. It didn't have to have a villain as such, because the villain was the whole corporation. An element that I freaking loved. The action in this movie is as good as it gets in the MCU. If you want the best action movie, as a whole, I'm not even a huge action guy, but check out this movie. The Winter Soldier is phenomenal. You really saw the awesome fucking kick-ass side of Captain America that we've been waiting for. This movie was phenomenal. Very hard to not make it one, but my one for a very big reason. Number one, the best movie, in my opinion, in the MCU thus far, The Avengers. This movie, it was phenomenal. And I remember actually seeing it in the cinema, and I was not as into the MCU at that point, so that's why I wasn't, I was more, you know, embraced in the Winter Soldier when saying, but re-watching this movie, this movie does everything right, every character is fleshed out, the story's phenomenal, the coming together of these characters is so fucking good, Loki's amazing, the, everything they do in this movie is phenomenal, I just re rewind reviewed it, check out the review, the full, like, 20 minute review of this movie, it is so great, it is, Oh, just the whole coming together of the of the Avengers itself, and that's the reason why I made this movie one, was that the first time that we saw all these characters come together, and god damn did it pay off. Holy shit, <laughs> this movie is amazing. The MCU as a whole is so damn good. Go back and watch every single movie. I mean, you don't have to watch every single movie. I'd recommend the ones you have to see, like the two Avengers movies so thus far, Civil War, Ragnarok. Black Panther is probably the one that you really need to see. I think you can avoid, like, the second and third Iron Mans. You have to avoid the first two Thors. Check out Ragnarok. I could go on through every movie, and I won't. But I think, obviously, there is definitive ranks. There was a few that I, I could have tweaked between, like, 7th and 8th, or 13th and 14th, whatever it may be. But I, I think this was such a hard list to make. I really watched every single movie except Black Panther, because that hasn't come out on Blu-ray yet. But... I just watched it a couple of months ago, so it's pretty fresh in my mind. I don't think it's going to re, you know, change my list by rewatching it. I'm so excited for Infinity War, guys. The review will be coming soon because I'm seeing it, I think, in three days. I'm seeing it on Wednesday the 25th. I'm seeing it on the night, night it comes out. Get ready for that shit. It's going to be phenomenal. Thank you guys for watching. Again, comment below on this video what your favorite MCU movie is. 
what you liked about the video, if you dislike my list, if you think it's total bullshit, whatever it may be, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe. I just said thumbs up and like. I'm just buzzing down on the MCU right now. Got my Captain America shirt on. Check out the rest of my videos, guys. But of course, have a good one.